Emerson said, a hero is no braver than an ordinary man, but he is braver five minutes longer. Five extra minutes can split paragons and change lives. Five extra minutes can mean the difference between com commonplace and cutting edge. Five extra minutes separate humans from the human humanitarians. Today, you are in the physical company of several individuals and the spiritual company of countless men and women who put in the time to be exceptional, to be altruistic, to protect and serve, not knowing that one day they will be our heroes. Good morning, veterans, councilmen, neighbors, friends, family. My name is Annette Hohola Vasquez, president of the Al Serino Community Coordinating Council. I am proud and privileged to serve as mistress of ceremonies of Al Serino's Memorial Day tribute honoring our veterans. We are delighted that you have joined us today to pay tribute and recognize, as I stated, several extraordinary individuals. U.S. Marine Corps veteran Monica Redla. U.S. Marine Corps veteran Fernando Amaya. U.S. Army vet Vietnam veteran Simo Noah. U.S. Army vet veteran Dan Arguello. The late U.S. Army veteran George Cabrera Sr. And U.S. Army, excuse me, U.S. Navy veteran Mark Overstreet. Individuals who have extended their service and endeavors to use their extra five minutes and contribute to the elevation of multiculturalism in our community, in the city of El Sereno, in our state of California, and the United States of America. Thank you to Councilman Jose Huizar and his administration and the American Legion, Alhambra Post 139, for inaugurating such a significant event as today. Please join me in a round of applause for bringing tribute back to our community. Thank you. I know everyone is honored to begin the program, so without further ado, I would like to invite Pastor Joey Alvarado of King Table Ministries. He will lead us in our innovation, invocation. Excuse me. Thank you very much. I'd just like to read uh, one scripture in Ecclesiastics, chapter 9, verse 11. It says, I returned and I saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happens to them all. And was just mentioned the bravery and the courage of, of veterans and the military and all the branches 
Uh, it's just an honor to be here and to uh, preside as, a, as praying over uh, all that are here attending and, and listening here today. If you'll bow your heads with me today. Precious Heavenly Father, we honor you, God. We honor this country. We honor the tears, the blood, the bravery, God, the sweat that was shed on many battlefields. We know that you're a faithful God, Lord. We know that you're a protector, Lord, of the veterans, my God. You're the protector, Lord, of this community, Father. We thank you for the leadership that are present here today, God. And that all you're doing, Father, in the center of this city today, Lord. We pray for the veterans, all branches of military, God. That your precious hand would be upon every one of them, Lord. Even those returning, Father God, with, with battle scars, mental scars, spiritual scars, physical scars, emotional scars, Lord. That you continue the healing of our land, Father. We trust you, Lord Jesus, with our military God, past, present, and future, Lord. We know that you're in control of every circumstance, Lord. And we release your Holy Spirit to uphold and to bring comfort and to bring strength, my God. Renewed strength on a daily basis, God. We pray for the family members also, Lord Jesus. The injured military, my God, in, in war, in military battles, my God, in protecting this country and this wonderful land, Lord. We pray that you continue to extend, my God, your loving kindness that is better than life, Lord. Continue to extend your mercies, Jesus, and your angels of protection, my God, upon our precious, precious military, Lord. Bless every branch, my God. Continue to renew them, Lord, and continue to pour out your spirit on this wonderful time of recognition, Lord, of honoring the men and women, my God, that have fought, and their families, my God, left behind, God. We give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' precious name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. Now if I can ask everybody to please rise. And I would like to introduce a young lady who is our honor today to sing our national anthem, Kalista Lukito with Lincoln High School EMTTT Group. And if I can invite Monica Verda, U.S. Marine Corps veteran, chaplain, American Legion, Alhambra Post, number 139. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 
Bobby Monica. If everyone could please be seated. Thank you. Um, we would like to invite Brian Rubio with Wilson High School to conduct TAPS. No sun, no hot, no heat. Great, right? Um, now I turn over to a very dear friend of mine um, who is represents many facets of the community. Um, he's a gentleman, very friendly, very well, well welcome into the community. Has been in many, many, many community organizations. Without further ado, opening remarks by Mr. Eddie Santian, Al Sereno Veterans Monument Committee. Good morning, El Sereno. Good morning, El Sereno. There you go. Happy I'll make side. sure they can hear me. The happy side, Eddie. There you go. Thanks for coming out, brother. Whew. This morning, I'd like to take a, a minute to uh, recognize someone that we lost in the community. He was a coach at El Sereno Park. Touched many lives. This gentleman's name is Henry Serrano, who passed away May 15th, 2014. And if we can have a moment of silence, at this time he's being buried at Riverside, give me the name, Riverside National Cemetery. And if we can have a moment of silence, please. Thank you. Hey. Councilman Jose Huiza, thank you for being here this morning in the great community of El Sereno. It's been a pleasure working with your staff on the uh, El Sereno Veterans Monument Committee. It's almost almost done. We're getting there. But I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Dan Arguello. You there, Dan? Thank you, sir, for coming out. Thank you to the LAPD. Bernal, raise your hand. There you go. Anybody from the fire department? No? All right. Now they're keeping us safe out there. At this time, I'd like to introduce the Councilman of the 14th District, Jose Huiza. You got stuck for words. Every time I see you, I get nervous. And I'm not running for office, huh? I want you around for a long time. Thank you very much. Just give it up for Eddie Santillan. And his awesome father who has roots from Zacatecas like I do. Well, thank you very much, and thank you all for coming out to uh, what is a very important day, not only for our great community of El Sereno, but also for our great country. 
There are people throughout the world today remembering those who have fallen and given their lives uh, for us to continue in the beliefs that we have as Americans. And here in El Sereno, we know that we have a long tradition of men and women who've gone on to many wars. But not only that, we've not only given our fair share as a community to protect our company, our, our country, but we're a very patriotic community. Everywhere I go, whoever I talk to, we often see it. We don't have to always speak it, but you see how proud El Cerrito is of our American country and particularly for our veterans and those who have given their lives. So thank you very much to the El Cerrito community for all you do. I want to give a special thanks to George Cabrera who coordinates this great event along with the committee uh, with very little resources and manpower and we know why he does it each and every year and it's for the love and admiration for his late father who was a veteran and thank you George where are you George thank you very much George for the work you do and the time you put into this we really appreciate it and thank you as well to the men and women in the fire department and the Los Angeles Police Department for their service each and every day we often uh, think of our veterans those who serve in the armed forces and those who serve here locally with a badge and their willingness to give their lives for our safety and this past year has been particularly difficult for our men and women in the Los Angeles Police Department with a number of officers who have recently passed in accidents. So our hearts go out to the families of these individuals and to also to uh, the, the uh, LAPD and our family in the Los Angeles Police Department. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you so much. The American Legion Alhambra Post 139, the El Sereno Monument Committee, and the El Sereno Community Coordinating Council. Uh, you guys not only do these great events each and every year, but do a lot of wonderful events each year, throughout the year. So thank you so much as well. And it is my honor to welcome all the vet veterans and families who are here today. Our veterans deserve to be recognized each and every day, and as is often said. And veterans here in El Sereno and our surrounding east side communities have had a long history military service like I mentioned. Uh, many of you here today have served in World War II, the Korean War, Vietnam, the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. And if you could please stand right now to be recognized and be given a big thank you for your service. Day, a ceremony that we take time to reflect, and it is a ceremony that we think of those who are not here. It is not so much a celebration as it is a vigil, a time to reflect, and a promise to remember. We gather to remember those brave men and women who never returned from the battlefield and those who passed after. Veterans whose lives were cut short so that ours could be long fair and prosperous. Men and women who often weren't able to see their own children grow up so that ours could, protected by the sacred rights that our veterans here today and those who paid the ultimate sacrifice took an oath to defend. I've said this before and I'll say it again, but it is our veterans who have answered the call again and again to protect those rights and really to give us all the gift and infinite power and prosperity through the defense of one word. That word is yes. It is our veterans and those who gave their lives who defend our right to say yes. That I can express yes, that we can express our thoughts freely. Yes, we can vote. Yes, we can live and worship whatever we want. Yes, we can pursue the American dream. The power and the significance of that one word yes cannot be underestimated especially when we know it is meaningless without the men and women willing to defend it. And yes is an affirmation. It's a positive word. It's a beautiful word. But today we honor those men and women who lost their lives and no doubt saw and experienced unspeakable horrors so that we could all say, yes, I can. Yes, I'm an American. 
This is why Memorial Day is such an important remembrance for all of us. Our veterans and those who passed remind us of what we have in common as Americans. We must never forget their sacrifices. I also want to thank our families and veterans for all their sacrifices they had to make and continue to make during the conflicts that we are currently in. Our hearts go out to all the families who have to endure the word that was given to them when their loved ones could not come back. Liberty is not free, and it is because of these men and women who have answered the call of duty for generations that we enjoy our freedom today. And as someone who is an immigrant, and as someone who is certainly proud of my Mexican heritage and culture, I'm equally proud and fortunate to be a citizen of this great country. And the freedoms that I enjoy as an American citizen, that we all enjoy, would not remotely be possible without the blood, sweat, tears of our veterans and those who gave their lives. And I thank you for the bottom of my heart for giving me the opportunity to pursue my American dream. It wouldn't have been possible for those who gave their lives, like myself, who were able to pursue the American dream like millions upon millions of other immigrants who come to this country to call home. I would now like to ask that we all remember those who have given their lives who have died in the service or died afterwards, to think of them not only today, but think of them throughout the year as what you are able to do, simple little things like take your children to school, wake up in the morning and decide to go take a walk down the park, and everything we take for granted each and every day. Veterans and those who gave your lives, may God bless you. And again, I thank you for your commitment and sacrifice. You've made not only El Cerrito a better place, to America a better place, and this world a better place. God bless you all. Thank you. Que viva Zacatecas! Thank you, Councilman. Now I'm introducing a very dear friend of mine um, who also sits on the coordinating council with me. It's my privilege to invite Mr. U.S. Marine Veteran Fernando Amaya with the House Renal Committee and Coordinating Council. Thank you for having me here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and piggyback on uh, Council Member Jose Huizar. I actually had something to say about that also. Uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here with you today as we come together to remembrance. Um, one question that I ask myself and some of you too, how can we best honor and remember our nation's veterans and those who have fallen in our service to our country? We must keep our promise to the men and women who have served. When they, sw when they swore an oath to support and defend our Constitution of the United States against all enemies, they made a commitment to all of us. And at the same time, we as a nation incurred a sacred obligation to also remember them. But how do, how do we remember them? It's, it's, it's getting involved in the community. If you got goals, accomplish them, follow them. You know, when I came out here, um, I'm also an immigrant from Central America, and um, and I became a citizen uh, not long ago, about 10 years ago, but I, yo I joined the military. I did four years in the U.S. Marines, uh, stationed in San Diego, and I fell in love with California, and I moved out here from Texas. So I'm a Texas native, but uh, came out here from California to California. And I wanted to get involved in the community, and because of that involvement, uh, I feel blessed to be here in El Sorino. Being part of the community is very important to me, but most of all, uh, as a veteran, I do this commitment to be a part of the community because of the, the honor and the, uh, the commitment that those men and women took to serve our country. So ask yourself, Again, how can we best honor and remember our nation's veterans? 
and those who are falling in our service to our country. Don't let their lives be in vain. Take action in your community and be involved. Thank you for having me here, sir. Thank you, Fernando. Now, if I may please invite U.S. Army Vietnam veteran with Alhambra Post 139, Joe Duran. Good morning, and thank you all for coming. If you uh, see your program, uh, there's a misprint on it if you haven't figured it out yet. Anyway, um, the American Legion Post uh, are located all across the United States, in every city, and we also have uh, American Legion Post in France, which was our first American Legion. We have one in Alaska. We also have one in Mexico City. So they're all over the place, and most of you all know or are related to a veteran. And uh, they want to hear thank you for serving every once in a while because uh, they deserve it. Our commander was unable to make it today, and our guest speaker also couldn't make it. So here I am. And uh, I have nothing prepared but just to thank you all. And the American Legion Post is open to everyone who would like to come and visit and see what we're doing over there. We, uh, we renovated the building. And we're still working on it. We are not uh, giving money from any organization, no uh, government, no city. We keep our doors open, uh, renting the hall out, having functions, fundraisers, that sort of thing. So if anybody wants to come and help, uh, they're more than welcome. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. At this time, we're going to. At this time, we're going to have the POW flag raised. If we can please invite host one thirty nine.
you gentlemen with post 139. And for those that do not know, the POW flag, it reads, you are not forgotten. So always remember, you are not forgotten. Moving on our program, I would like to invite Monica Redla, U.S. Marine Corps veteran, tour in Libya and Grenada. Good afternoon. I, I was I, I am a U.S. Marine, always will be. I, my tour was in Libya and Granada. I enlisted uh, right out of high school. Did one tour, and fortunately, I, I, I'm home. Um, I now am. I serve uh, the American Legion 139. I'm honored to serve as a chaplain uh, this whole up and coming my third year. So I, I'm very honored to to serve my my comrades there and, and uh, fellow Marines, Army, Navy, Air Force, uh, etc. And um, I'm pleased to be here this afternoon. Um, I, I uh, George just wanted me to make a quick announcement and um, just to uh, speak a little bit about myself. So, um, the the uh, this uh, tomorrow um, at 6:30 p.m. Uh, for the first time, we're going to host a, a candlelight vigil in honor of uh, Memorial Day. And uh, it'll be at 6.30 p.m. Uh, you all are invited. Uh, there'll be candles and everything you need there. There'll be a few speakers, and uh, we'll have a, a little dinner before at 5 o'clock. So if you'd like to come, I encourage you to come and, and support this. Uh, it'll be our first time. And uh, we're doing it in honor of, of all our troops. Um, as I stated here on the flyer, I have a couple of flyers, I didn't bring them all, so I apologize for that.